Hello everyone, this is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We're in Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16, Lamentations chapter 2 verse 9, as well as Ruth chapter 4 verse 16. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you Father God for working it out in Jesus name. You are great. Amen. All right, you guys, Hebrews chapter four, verse 16. Let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. All right. And so this is speaking of, you know, the fact that we as believers are covered by the blood of Christ, righteousness. He, he, he was so righteous, so perfect. And when he died, that shed blood was atonement for our sins. And so that shed blood is over us as we enter into the presence of God. It allows us passage to come before the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, right? And so he's our mediator. He's our intercessor as we go in. And um, here, this specific um, scriptures um, together are, are have a beautiful meaning. Let's look at it. Let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace. So the precious blood of Christ is a gift to us, right? And so as we draw near, this is God's gift, right? The fact that we can come near to him. And guess what? This grace is not just a grace to be experienced while we're here on earth. We're about to experience it as he takes us into the heavenly place to enter into our rest, right? We can come before God. We can be in heaven because the blood of Christ covers us. And that what that is what is soon to come. The rapture of the church is a grace of God. And we're going to be allowed to draw near to his throne because of it and so it says let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace that we may receive mercy right we're going to be able to go before him and he's going to extend that scepter of mercy rather than striking us down and saying go back right rather than than coming against us he's going to have great mercy on us and it says and find grace to help in time of need and so he we're going to have a time of need right that when the, before as that tribulation is about to enter in that's a time of need right and he's going to help us he's going to help the bride he's going to bring the bride unto himself and and that is going to be a great grace that is going to be a great um, mercy from God is the, the rapture of the church all right let's look at lamentations chapter 2 verse 9 her gates have sunk into the ground he has ruined and broken her bars her kings and princes are among the nations the law is no more and her prophets find no vision from the lord so our all right, this is supposed to be the chasing class, right? This is supposed to be the children of Israel and they are supposed to be um, a part of this this body that is blessed to come into the presence of God, right? But anyone who does not receive Christ, receive that free gift of grace, receive that love that he has brought to us is in essence, you know, you're turned away from God. So that's going to be both um, Israel who has rejected God, the builders who have rejected God, as well as the Gentiles who have rejected God, their gates, the thing that was guarding them, those those things that um, that kept them safe before are no longer going to keep them safe right it says her gates have sunk into the ground he has ruined and broken her bars all right and it says her king and her princes are among the nations so there's a great scattering right and and everything that's precious everything that's good is scattered everywhere right? It, it's no longer there. It says, and her prophets find no vision 
from the Lord. And so they're going to be seeking God, but they're not going to hear the word from God anymore like they did before, right? And so we're going to have to pray for them. We're going to have to pray for those people who are in tribulation and, and just hope for the best for them. Amen. And, and not just hope, but pray, just continue to stand firm in faith and pray that God redeems their souls as they cleanse their garments. There will be a remnant for them. And then there will also be a, a a people that's more than can be numbered that are going to come out of the tribulation that have washed their garments white. Amen. I'm sorry, my screen is a little bit messed up, so I'm just going to have to go with it. Ruth chapter four, verse 16. Then Naomi took the child and laid him on her lap and and became his nurse. All right. And so this actually is the same verse that we got in the previous scriptures. Um, but here this it now the reflection has a little bit different meaning with these other scriptures, right? When we're looking at Naomi here, um, you are are visualizing her and and seeing a reflection of the the church that comes out of the tribulation, right? So, so they are going to take up the cause. Yes, it will be too late to be raptured, but they are going to take up that cause and they are going to um, nurse these babies of God, right? They are going to to not love their lives even unto death, right? They are going to do the things that they were supposed to do, but without the Spirit, right? It's not going to be their direct child, but it's it's going to be, you know, what God wants them to do to cleanse their garments. Somehow, some way through his word, he is going to show them um, how to get into his presence to receive that, um, that, that mercy from the mercy seat, right? He's going to cover them with his blood. Remember, they are washing their garments in the blood of the lamb. And so they will be presentable to be able to be before the throne of God. He's going to wash them white as snow, but this baby that they're taking up will not be their direct baby. It, it won't be what God had desired for them, but um, they are going to take up the cause of God. Remember the baby represents purpose. And so um, instead of nursing the baby that they should have nursed, which was following the will of the father and the grace of God before um they are going to um, have to take up a new cause and they're going to have to follow God in spite of no gates, right? In spite of no protection, in spite of a great wrath being poured out on the earth. God didn't intend it for them to be like that, but they are going to, to somehow do it. And we just have to Pray for them that they pull through, pray and, and trust in God that they will, especially it, when you're believing for someone um, in your family that you know will be here. Just put your trust in God, put your hope in God, press into him and, and intercede for that family member. Amen. All right, you guys, let's pray. Thank you, Father God for your word. Thank you for helping us as we put our hope and our trust in you. You are a worthy God to be praised. You are a righteous God. We say thank you in the name of Jesus. Come Lord Jesus, Maranatha in Jesus name. Amen. All right, you guys take care and be blessed.